Yeah, hello everyone. I'm Professor Sudhir Dravid. Uh, we'll be doing the course on overview of banking. Before we get into the details of the course, just wanted to give you a brief background about myself. I'm uh, an MTech from IIT Bombay and an MBA from a PGDM from IIM Lucknow, uh, specializing in finance and marketing. Worked in various corporates for 24 years. In the last four years, I've been teaching at IBS uh, in the finance subject. So uh, the course we are talking about is uh, overview of banking, which is, uh, of course, it's an elective. There are 33 sessions. The pedagogy, which is basically the uh, methodology of teaching, that includes uh, a mix of asynchronous and synchronous activities. So some offline activities and some online. We will be depending a lot on Quickforce, a lot of stuff will be uploaded on Quickforce during this course. So please make very good use of it. In fact, it's mandatory to use uh, Quickforce for all kinds of uh, uh, course related work. Uh, textbook is there, uh, LM Bore. Uh, reference book has also been uh, suggested here. Uh, we will have uh, online assessments for uh, the continual evaluation, which is the most likely, which is the C1 and C3. Uh, Midterm and end term, uh, we will see as it comes, whatever guidance we get from the institute. So overall, that's a brief about the uh, course. What are the learning outcomes? What are the things that we expected to learn at the end of this course? Uh, so the, really, the objective should be that you should get a good understanding of the history and growth of banking industry. What exactly the is the business of banking how does it look what are the different types of uh, banking activities for retail corporate smes and so on fund based and fee based services products and services which are offered by banks what are risk management internal controls and regulatory framework that applies for banks and very importantly what are the new developments in banking so the whole digital banking which is your mobile and internet banking why do we need to do all this? Because banking is one of the very important sectors in the country. It's the big employer. 15 lakh jobs are there in the banking sector. It's uh, the immediate relevance for uh, you all, uh, students, is that it's uh, one of the big recruiters on campus. So ICICI Bank and HDFC Bank, uh, other banks also come to campus and they recruit a lot of people. There's a lot of innovation happening there. It's an exciting place to make a career. So. Uh, that's why it's very important to understand and get an overview of the banking industry as such. So what are the different modules uh, which we will cover during the course? Well, we'll talk about the Indian financial system, the origin and growth of banking, banker and customer relationship. This is extremely important because banking is uh, very much dependent on trust. What does the bank balance sheet look like? How is it different from that of a company? And then we get into the nitty gritty of banking operations, uh, management of deposits, checks, cash management, what are the various lending activities, then uh, corporate banking, financing of MSMEs and rural banking and so on, follow up and recovery, we talk about fee based services, uh, and then we'll talk about some of the recent innovations, and uh, at the end of it, we will talk about the internal controls and the regulatory framework. So I hope that you have a, a good um, a session, that you have a good understanding at the end of this course about the whole business of banking. Thank you.